I think you'll enjoy this video. It's kind of a fun video. Uh, I'm gonna show you the final steps for preparation to get these bees ready for pollination. Uh, show you changing out the lids for migratory lids. Uh, actually moving them out to the holding yard. And then yesterday we went out there and put some finishing touches on the bees. I helped my friend out a little bit with his as well. So I think this will be a really entertaining video if you watch it to the end. I hope you subscribe to the channel. Here we go, let's get started. It's January 21st out here at Lake Patty Sioux. We put the finishing touches on these bees, on the pallets. Uh, gonna change out the lids today for migratory lids. It's right around here, right up past those trees over there where the bees are. So it's exciting. This is the last step before we actually load them up and get them to the holding yard. I'm uh, gonna show you kind of how I do it. It's gonna be quick today. It's a little cold out here. So we're gonna just open them up really quickly, just change the lids out very fast and get out of here. There's the beehives right over there. You can see them. Um, right there, we got our five pallets. All the hives, as of last Saturday, three days ago, were looking good, in good shape. We got them all stacked, um, a deep and a medium. And the bees should be clustered up pretty good right now, so I wanna be quick. I'll get set up and we'll show you, I'll show you how I do one or two of them. Here we go. Okay, we're getting them done very quickly here. I'll show you how I'm doing this. Got a few bees on here, I'm tapping them down there. See how the bees are clustered? Just putting these migratory lids right on top. Just that quick. Avoid the exposure to the cold, they should be fine. Okay, I took a few minutes, got the lids on here. Uh, the bees were clustered in there. We were just real quick. We changed them out really fast. We've got 20 hives right here, ready to go. Out here at Lake Pacey. Okay, just got done with these. A 12 out here in Slocum. So these eight right here, and these four over here. This hive right here on the corner is just crazy it's really cold out here and look at the bees on the outside um, they are very feisty anyway that's it for now uh, out here in Slocum did the same thing here very quickly as I did up at Lake Patty Sioux and they're ready to go and uh, all we gotta do now is come pick them up and take them to the holding yard and they're gonna be on their way right here at Lake Patty Sioux got to get them on these on the tractor over there on the, with the tractor and the forks up on the trailer take them onto the holding yard it's chilly it's rainy a little bit misty so it's a good night to move them it's pretty late it's probably around 10 o'clock a little after at night and uh, so we're gonna get this done <clears throat> i'm gonna go here first and then go over to uh slocum there it goes Load up these pallets up on there. Just get it strapped down. Here are our first five pallets. Right there. So we go to Slicken with the other three. We got the holding yard here. Loading them in the holding yard. It's been a long night. It's uh, between 1 and 2 a.m. I think. Alright, I got the last box down here at the holding yard. Ooh, 
this lake. It's tired. Early in the morning, probably from 1 to 2 a.m. There are eight miles, 32 hives. Somehow we lost the lid in, in uh, transit. <laughs> I thought I screwed them down, but apparently I didn't think that was screwed down good enough. So, uh, here they are, holding yard. And that's pretty much it for the bees on pallets now. We'll just go around, we'll see how things go. I guess my brother's willing to help me with his equipment. And uh, it's been an adventure, a wild ride. We'll see how they do. Ooh, we got them out here. It's so late, it's early a.m. Here's my eight pallets. Out here at the holding yard. And uh, done with these things for a while. I may go through them a little bit Saturday and just treat for mites one more time or something, or I may just be done with them quite the ordeal we uh we actually tried to stack two pallets we had to get them at slocum we had to take them out there because we couldn't really get the trailer back in there had to pull them out with the fork and we were going to try and do two at a time and they shifted and kind of dropped and that was great trying to get those bees back in place um, but we got it done and uh here they are I think I mentioned a little bit earlier, I did lose a lid. Apparently that one I didn't screw down very well. Anyway, it's early in the morning, uh, January, gosh, I think it's the 24th, I don't even know. I'm tired, I'm taking it to the house. Hope y'all enjoyed this. Let's hope y'all have enjoyed this ride with the pallets. Pretty much done with it for now. All right, over now, y'all have a good one. January 25th, the bees right here at the holding yard. There's the some of the other bees that are going out. But just wanted to show you, uh, we got them out here a couple nights ago. And uh, that lid right there actually blew off. But I just don't think you can really understand in the video how many mm -hmm. bees are flying around out here. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna treat them, mm -hmm. some mites. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much gonna be it. I'm gonna maybe put a few more clips on them. Some of these boxes are sliding around a little bit. Just make sure they're all in place. And uh, you're ready to go. And there are a lot of bees out here right now. And um, there's gonna be a lot more coming out here, I think in the next, uh, maybe even tonight or the next couple of days, cause they're gonna be leaving here pretty soon. So anyway, it's pretty cool. That's my friend's house. These bees are all going together on the same truck, and there's going to be a bunch more out here. Probably won't get any video of that. So there's all his over there, some of them. Eight pallets, 32 hives of my bees, Bruce's bees right here. And uh, pretty exciting stuff. So I'll need these things treated, and they'll be ready to go. Just going to get them treated, check on them briefly, and uh, go from there. Here's the first one I opened up out here. Putting more clips on her to keep it from rotating side to side. Some of these boxes are kind of new and so they're shifting a little bit. We had a little incident the other night. Uh, one of the pallets uh, hit down or kind of hit the ground hard, kind of off balance. We had an issue. Um, we learned a lesson there, but you can see this I think was the pallet. You see how that clips bent a little bit and the, but the, the top boxes are shifting a little bit, rotating. So we're putting four clips on them on one, two just to make sure they stay in place. But look how strong this thing is. This is the first one I cracked open out here. They're just booming. Of course, some of them aren't that strong, but man, they're doing well. I'm gonna go ahead and get the clips, put on these and treat for mites. And then I may help my buddy uh, transfer some of his over onto clean pallets if I have a chance a little bit later on. Oh, we got these bees out of the holding yard. These are mine over here. They're treating for mites, I am. There's my buddy over there getting his ready. So we just got these moved over on his pallets as well. He's taking the strongest ones and leaving the other ones behind to work on and play with. What you think, man? What's up, YouTube? <laughs> anyway, there's gonna be a bunch more coming in here, I guess in the next day or two, right? 
And then and they'll be heading out, out, out of, out of here, sometime next week. So we about got them ready. Okay. He's gonna move this box over to that pallet. Some of these would probably be okay, don't you think, Davis? We're just keeping them. Uh, oh, yeah. Don't you think we're just kind of keeping them yeah. here to play with? Yeah, we're gonna keep a few to play with. Trying to make some splits. They're feisty right now. Yeah, they are. They've been real feisty today. Mine have been really bad. Beautiful evening out here, South Alabama. It's about that time though, about to get them there. Let me flip this thing around so you can see. Well, yeah. I need another frame. That's fine. Anyway, you can see it's beautiful. It's a little chilly, but the bees, they've been real feisty, haven't they? They have. It's been crazy. Mine over here, mine over here just started jumping on us as soon as I started fooling with them. I added another clip on each on this side and then one on the other side because they shifted a little bit. Some of these boxes are new, so they're kind of sliding around. But uh, anyway, we're having fun with it. As you can see, I'm out here treating for mites. I got this mask from RZ. All right. I like these masks, so they work pretty well. But there's mine back there, getting treated for mites. Appreciate y'all watching the channel. Go sign off for now. Probably gonna be our last pollination video, possibly for right now. And that's 25th of January. About got them ready. All right, that's it. On to the next video.